Hello. Okay, so I've run into a dilemma. I went book shopping last week, bought three books. This is all I have left. And I've just been in like a massive reading kick recently. So I'm thinking book haul. I have some to unhaul and I've got like a pretty significant list of what I want to get. So it's a book shopping day. Okay, my new obsession that is gonna last probably like three months and then I'm gonna get over and find something else. Strawberry sparkling water. <laughs> Actually, sparkling water in general. That's the vibe I'm on. I used to hate it, but now it makes me feel fancy. And for that reason, I will be buying it every day. Okay, so game plan. Why is it so busy? It opened like an hour ago. I came at this time because I thought that it was gonna be dead. Surprise! Everyone and their mom is here right now. Anyways, game plan. I've never looked at their manga section because I haven't started reading it until now, but I need to get Vinland Saga Book 2. They only come in hardback that I've seen, so they're like $25. It would be amazing if I could find that here because I don't really want to pay $25. That would be nice. Um, book club, we're reading Red, White, and Royal Blue for Pride Month. Didn't realize... A, a cutesy little romance between like the president of the United States' son and then like somebody's son in the royal family. Cute. And then I'm thinking maybe of getting another romance book because I don't usually read the like cutesy romance books, but I'm almost feeling like I want to read it when I go to the beach, which is in like 10 days. Also as expected, I'm reading The Secret History right now and it is sending me into a spiral of craving dark academia books. So if I can find Atlas Six, I will be getting it. What else do I want? I think I want to get Jane Eyre, Air, whatever. Never saying it again, because I'm always going to say it wrong. But I was going to get it last time, and then I ended up getting Emma. I'm nervous, because the Bronte sisters, sometimes they throw me off. But so, I... I I don't know. I think it's the old English. Uh, I wrote a list and I didn't bring it with me. Oh, I need to get the next two Throne of Glass books. I need to get the prequel and then I need to get the actual book three. Fingers are crossed that they have them here. If not, I'm not going to be upset if I have to go to Barnes & Noble later today. Mm, that's all I can think of for now. I'm going to go on haul some books I got in my trunk. Ugh, let's see. Let's see what happens. It was so busy in there. What? Partial bust, partial absolute win. Sometimes I have issues because I think I'm looking in the wrong spot, but then I'm like, there's literally nowhere else that this book would be. So I may have missed stuff, but this is what I got. I couldn't find Assassin's Blade. <laughs> However, Air of Fire was literally the only Sarah J Moss book that they had. So I was like, it's meant to be, thank you. And it was on sale for $10. We love a bargain, we love a bargain, babes. So this one's like significantly longer than the other ones. Yeah, like five, 60 pages. I'm into it though. Oh my gosh, she's about to like go travel in this one. <gasps> I can't wait. I almost want to read this one first, but I won't. I will refrain. I'm gonna start it soon though. Okay, the other one, I actually really love, but I'm very nervous about it. Um, I did find a copy of Jane Eyre, and um, it's beautiful. They have this like little section where it's just literary sets, and it's basically just books that are um, looking like this, like all fancy and stuff. Like, look at that, hold on, look at the edges. 
absolutely. If this book sucks, I'm gonna be pissed. Um, but I didn't really open it before, and I'm saying an image. Ooh. But there was this man in line uh, in front of me, and he turned around and he asked me, he's like, hey, is that book a so-and-so book or edition or whatever? And I was like, uh, I don't know. But I found it in the literary sets, and he was like, oh, maybe it's a Franklin edition or something like that. I was like, should I be knowing this? So now I'm curious, I wanna look it up. If that man is right, oh my gosh, this is Franklin Library Edition. Proud of him, honestly, proud of him. You learn something every day. But yeah, so I just thought that this was so beautiful. This is gonna look so good on the bookshelf. The aesthetic is there. And I truly appreciate this one because the font is big, or at least big enough for me to read it. Okay, and this one is looking like 523 pages. Got a bit to start on, but is it enough? Never. Never enough. But I brought The Secret History with me and because of the dark academia-ness of it. I want to go to this really cute library. Library. It's like a coffee shop, but it's got a library aesthetic, I would say. But it's in the Virgin Hotel. So I think I'm gonna work on my laptop and read a little bit there. Because it just feels right, you know? But after that, you know what time it is. Barnes and Noble. She never disappoints. I will see you at the coffee shop. I did like a costume change because the pants were like a lot and the buns were a lot and it's so hot, but it's still so hot. Um, yeah, I'm about to just go in and casually like drop all of my life savings on all the books I'm about to buy. TBH kind of excited about it. <laughs> Yay. But my outfit's really cute, so I'm gonna try and get like a far enough angle to where you can see the whole thing. Uh, I just got it in. So if you like it, I'll leave it linked. And if you hate it, don't tell me because I'll literally cry.
let's let's go through them. Okay, so one, I got Vinland Saga book two. So in the last one, it kind of just went through like his backstory as a kid and where, how he got where he was. We love a Viking. They're going to England. They're going to Denmark. We love a world traveler. Hey. Then I got red, white, and royal blue for my book club. When I was getting checked out for these, I had this one on the top and the person checking me out was like, oh my gosh, great choice. I loved it, it was so cute. And I was like, <gasps> yay. I was like, I don't really know much about it besides like the initial premise, but I'm excited. Let's read the back. Okay. What happens when America's first son falls in love with the Prince of Wales? T. And then, I'm quaking. Out of all of them, I appreciate that this one is the most aesthetically. I'm excited for Tower of Dawn because it's the only one that doesn't have a person on the front of it, but I really like the color scheme of this one. Yeah, I'm starting this immediately. So those are the only ones I got from Barnes & Noble. I really, really wanted to get Love and Gelato because I have been obsessed with like the Italian summer aesthetic. Catch me in Italy next summer, mark my words. But they didn't have it. Well, they kind of had it. They had this book that was like Love and Gelato and Love and Olives or something like that, which is by the same author and they just combined it and made it one book, but I really just want the one. So I didn't get it. I might order it off Amazon because also was gonna get the Atlas Six because the sequel to that, which it's like the Atlas, oh, it starts with a P, what is it? This is gonna bother me, hold on. The Atlas Paradox. That comes out at like the end of October or something. So I was like, ooh, I can get it. I'll read it after I finish The Secret History and then be ready to read the next one when the sequel comes out. But they only had hardback and I just really like the paperback version of it. It's so pretty. So I think I'm just gonna order that off Amazon too. But I saw a ton of stuff where I'm like, ooh, if I wasn't getting so many books this time, I would get that right now, but I'll read that next. Like I really wanna get Malibu Rising. And there's like a ton of series that I want to get into, but I don't want to start another big series until I finish Throne of Glass, the, 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 the whole thing. So, this is where we've ended up. Jesus, I need to buy another bookshelf. Wow, yeah. I hope those last me a little bit longer <laughs> than the last haul. So, I'm going to go ahead and skedaddle and maybe start some of these books. Okay, bye. Bye.